Good morning, folks. It's 5 a.m. I'm packing for my Tokyo trip. So this time I'm finally going for my first ever holiday like leisure trip of the year. The past few trips I've been going throughout the whole year has just been for work. So I'm gonna be going to Tokyo first for fan call and then after that Matt is coming up to join me. So I'm very 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 excited and happy because it's gonna be our first time um, exploring Tokyo together as a couple and we've always talked about doing it anyway. This is what I did my makeup with today. We have to be pretty much ready the moment we like get off the plane. So I just got my eyes makeup on but kept my base clean and clear so that I can pile on more skincare. <laughs> together in Tokyo. I've been here for the past four days with fan calls so I'm gonna insert a clip of everything that I did. This time learning about skincare. If only I took an exam like, for skincare, I think I would have done so much better. Yeah, my GPA would be much higher. <laughs> Very cool, we are inside the never tree to see. Cheers! And I'm here with Matt because he just joined me for our first ever holiday leisure trip this year. We have both been really really busy. But I'm um, very glad we made it happen. And it's also our first trip since we got engaged. Yeah. Yeah? The rain is such a downer. It was just reported on the news that some Shinkansen to Kyoto just got stopped because of the bad weather conditions so fingers crossed actually tomorrow we are planning to go to Mount Fuji I even bought the tour tickets already from Kluk so hopefully we, are, we can get to go One of my favorite places to be in in Japan that is Don Quixote. I just got um, myself a hair color and waiting to collect more receipts so that we can go to the tax free counter to get some money back. Every time I come to Don Quixote, I will be looking at all sorts of things, but Matt will be stuck here at the gummy section. <laughs> Can you try this? Hey. Fettuccine! Just checked into our first place at Shibuya. Oh, it's very simple and beautiful with a nice looking balcony. So this area is actually really good. I'm gonna show you guys later when I go downstairs. Um, it's just a full row of like restaurants and bars and um, by foot it's about maybe just three minutes to like the Daiso in Shibuya so it's actually really 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 near I booked this off home away uh, which was the exact same service that I used in my previous trip with Sarah so it's kind of different there's like no host there's no sharing of rooms it's really good for people who just want to have a nice place to stay. We're now at Rokasen. I have tried to make this booking a few times and I finally got it. If you are a beef lover, I highly recommend this place. It's like a Japanese beef barbecue place but it's a buffet so you get everything. It's around $95 per person. Uh, it's not the cheapest but if you are a huge beef lover, you can eat a lot. I think it's very very worth it. So yeah. Day 2. So we are going to Mount Fuji today. are gonna be picking peaches. Apparently the peaches are very very good and expensive here in Japan so it's an all you can eat, all you can pick. Look how big it is! 
They're huge and really furry. Anyway, we booked this tour to Mount Fuji and Lake Kawaguchiko. It also brings us to the Kachikachi Mountain to take the ropeway. We have this uh, fruit peaking experience, which is all you can eat. This tour is like quite quite nice. It's very chill. It also takes us from Shinjuku and back to Shinjuku. And we booked it on Klook for about 140 bucks per person. Like a one day out of Tokyo kind of trip. And if you don't want to fuss too much about <laughs> uh, you know, finding your own way around because it's quite impossible unless you drive over here. You can't really cover like that many places in a day. So if you don't want to fuss about that and if you want to have like someone just plan everything for you and lunch is also included, then I think these kind of trips are very very good. Check out our loot. The tour guide gave us tickets for the roadway So the tickets for all these things are also included So the roadway is something like a cable car And the last time I went to Hakone I took something similar to it and I saw Mount Fuji Even though they say that you know This entire season is not perfect for seeing Mount Fuji And they are saying that it's very shy uh, But you know when you don't have expectations You might just be wild Now we have reached a lavender farm but it's raining unfortunately but it's very beautiful Okay the next stop is 5th station um, We are super close to Mount Fuji now but unfortunately it's all been covered up by the clouds because the weather isn't very very good and uh, it's very cold Somehow everyone knew that it's gonna be so cold and they all came prepared in jackets but <laughs> Look at what I'm wearing <laughs> I'm always so underprepared <laughs> So that's why we are just chilling inside like uh, the, the store, the souvenir shop Because it's just too cold to go out <laughs> Couldn't take it So we came back into the bus Oh my goodness, it feels like maybe 10 degrees <laughs> Yeah. Just decided to queue up for Ichiran ramen. So I like mine with no spring onion, extra rich broth, and extra firm noodles. Wow. Someone made breakfast. Good morning, we're still in Tokyo, and um, last night we went to the 7 Eleven to get some ramyeon. Ramyeon, why did you say that in a Korean way? I'm in Japan, it's ramen. It's ramen. 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 And we decided to just get some um, for breakfast today because we are heading to Kyoto's. One thing he's really good at is making instant noodles. That sounds so sad. We're now arriving in Shinagawa. So, quickly grabbing some food before we catch our train. Ah, lots of fried food. Shinkansen. Um, we're on the way to Kyoto. Hopefully the weather holds up well. From what our home away host says, he says that everything is fine in Kyoto. So let's pray that the trip will not be disrupted by bad weather. Anyway, we're on the Shinkansen and we got here via the JR Pass. For those of you who don't know the JR Pass, um, basically it is a like a 7 days or 14 days kind of pass where you can get unlimited access to um, the JR trains and also some of the partners like this Shinkansen where uh, that brings you to like Yokohama, Kyoto and I think even Osaka so you just have to pay one price and then you get like this pass that brings you around for 7 days mine is the 7 days one and I got it via Cook so it was super simple, all I had to do was just book it on Klook, cut out pay, head down to their office which is located at Hong Kong Street which is very very convenient and um, they passed me the ticket. I came here to Japan in Tokyo, exchanged the ticket at one of the stations like either Shinjuku, Shibuya or like one of your JR stations and they gave me this. So all I had to do is show the conductor and they'll just let you pass. 
Alright guys, we just checked into our apartment in Kyoto. You guys know like Kyoto is very famous for being very old Japan and this house is like a hundred years old. I will definitely link it in the description box below if you guys are interested but I'm super excited to show you. This is the living room area. Just drink tea. Right? It's a bit big for Matt and I because there's just two of us but I think it can fit up to six people. It's a very pretty and simple bedroom which is where we are going to be sleeping today. Alright, let's check out the second bedroom. So this is empty because there's only two of us so they didn't lay out like the mattress but uh, you can. And then this is the toilet. A very simple and modern one. I love Kyoto! Kyoto is one of like my favorite cities to visit whenever I go to Japan. This is actually my second time here and um, it's just super old. Like this place just looks so quiet and serene and I came here last year during the cherry blossom period. It was very beautiful but very crowded also. Um, yeah, so I decided to just come here again this time with this one <laughs> to just chill. just got back to the apartment and we chanced upon this like snack shop and bought <laughs> 10 packets of like Japanese snacks. Alright, it's been a very long day and tomorrow we're still gonna continue here in Kyoto. Good morning folks! It's day 2 in Kyoto and I just finished doing my hair and my makeup. Very happy with the hair color that I bought from Japan. It's this thing called Create Iron. Right now we're on our way to Endo Tempura. It's like a pretty famous tempura restaurant here in Kyoto. It's 200 meters away. Let's go! So we just reached Fushimi Inari, it's my second time here and it is still so very crowded. Look who we spotted! So we walked about 30 minutes uphill, pushing our bikes to come to Kiyomizudera and we didn't know that it was going to close so early. So yeah, finally reached and it's closed! <laughs> and it's not crowded, so actually if you're just going to come here for photos, I've actually been in there before so I'm not that sad that I didn't manage to catch the opening hours but if you're just here for photos, it's really good to come at this time around 6, 6.10 before they really chase you out at 6.30. Final day in Japan. We are heading back to Tokyo now. And it's gonna... not final day in Japan. Oh wait, it's our second last day in Japan. Finally reached Tokyo and checked into our apartment located at Shinagawa. You can just take the JR line straight to Shinagawa. It's actually pretty convenient. So I'm gonna show you my apartment. It's very very nice. Ta-da! Oh, that's a boyfriend. Pretty simple but very comfy and spacious for a Japanese apartment. We are taking a really long walk because we are gonna be playing with owls! I'm here at Cafe Hoot Hoot but it's an owl cafe. Ah, can't wait! I booked my slot via Klook. So it's about $15 for an hour, a drink and you get to play with owls. Oh my gosh, look at how big this guy is. Hey! This is one. The case is blinking. This is not my first time in an owl cafe. It's actually my second time. Um, but this owl cafe is slightly different because the owls are actually free to like roam around. That's so insane and scary. <laughs> but they're very very cute and they are relatively safe. Um, I booked my session with Klook so they go by like one hour and then with a drink and uh, you can just feel free to pet them, take photos of them but not with flash on um, because you might just terrorize them and scare them. Just bought a bunch of things again from Donkey and how many packets of gummies did we buy this time? Uh, ten. Ten. <laughs> Last day 
in Japan. I know we have Ipudo in Singapore, but we are just here to try and see if this is much better. So Ipudo earlier was actually really nice. It's nicer in Singapore, right? Yeah. Ipudo expert. <laughs> he eats Ipudo all the time, so he should know. The noodles are like too but al dente, very 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 good and the soup base is also a lot more like flavorful and rich so now we're at this place called Excel Swan Coffee we've just reached Haneda Airport and we took the public train which was really fast actually from Shinagawa it took us about 25 minutes and now I have to go return the Wi-Fi so sad! Bye Wi-Fi! Looks like a butt. Ladies and gentlemen, we will soon make a brief stop.